Alright, for those of you who watched my Dark Rising LP, normally I like to get up apart on Saturday or Sunday, but yesterday I was busy, and Saturday I wanted to upload a uh, battle. But I should be getting up apart sometime this week, and I also have one thing I want to mention at the end of the video that I'm pretty sure most of you will like. So yeah, just stick around to the end of the battle so I can uh, talk about that for a couple seconds or a minute or so. Anyways, I got a pretty fun ending battle I had against Cake for you. As you can see, he, she, I don't know, is using a rain team, which means uh, Ludicolo is going to be a major problem as well as that Volbeat. And I'm actually using a really, really fun team based around Quiver, Dance, Baton Pass, Masquerade to Baton Pass to Rampartos or Samurott. But a threat on his side of the field, we're going to be the Ludicolo and the Dragonair. Because if Dragonair is the Rest Talk Dragon Dance Outrage set, and I allow it to set up, I could get destroyed, so I really have to watch out for that. But I knew he more than likely would be leading off with the bull beat, so I decided to lead off with my model. Right off the bat, he gets up his rain as I actually get a crit with my first Rock Blast, which I don't really know how much it really ends up mattering, but I am going to be able to knock this thing out with the second uh, Rock Blast as I get another crit, which at that point was just really useless. And I was trying to get up my rocks. Unfortunately, though, he did Encore me into the uh, Rock Blast, so I had no choice but to go for that. As he brings in the Ludicolo, I have nothing I want to lose and nothing I can switch into this Ludicolo in range, so I have no choice but to leave in my Armada for fodder, which really sucks because I'm not going to be able to get on my rocks. So I'm going to bring in my Lickalicky, which I know I can easily take Hydro Pumps in the rain from Ludicolo for days, and I can stall out the rain turns, and he knows this. So I'm just going to go for a Protect after going for the Wish as he makes a good switch into the Dragonair. Now normally, Lickalicky cannot touch Dragonair, so I knew he more than likely saw this as a perfect opportunity to start setting up and potentially sweeping through my team. But I do carry Dragon Tail, which has actually become a lot more common on Lickalicky because I face a lot of Lickalickys on Showdown that have Dragon Tail. So I Dragon Tail him out to the... Uh, wow, whoa, whoa. I Dragon Tail him out into the Zepstrika. And normally Zepstrika are Scarfed or Specs, so I'm just going to go for the Protect just to see what he wants to lock himself into and to waste another turn of Rain Dance. As he does go for the Volt Switch, I knew I could take that, so what I'm going to do is actually go for the Wish just to be able to pass that off to whatever he decides to bring in. As he brings in the Bear Tick, I know Bear Tick does learn Superpower, so predicting him to do that, I'm going to switch into my Masquerade. But he makes a very, very excellent play and actually goes for the Icicle Crash predicting that and knowing that it would still do a decent bit of damage to my Licka Licky. Thanks to the fact that I do have Intimidate and I am max defense, max HP, I'm going to be able to just barely survive that Icicle Crash and be able to get the wish for my Licka Licky. Now, with Bear Tick being at minus 2 because of the superpower of my Intimidate, what I'm going to do is actually switch into my Samurai, and this Stone Edge still does a pretty decent amount of damage. Now, this Samurai is sub 3 attacks because uh, when I Baton Pass Quiver Dances to Samurai, I'll set up a Substitute and just start plowing through teams. But this turn, expecting him to switch out into the um, Ludicolo, I'm actually going to double switch into my Primate, but he actually switches into the Zepstrika, which isn't a big deal for me, just because I know Zepstrika really can't do anything to me, and something on his team is still going to be getting hit hard with a close combat. As it turns out, he not, he's not Choice Scarf, and he's not Choice Specs. It turns out that he actually uh, did not stab an item on the Zepstrika, which honestly, even if this thing did have Specs or Scarf, I don't think it really would have been game-changing. As he both switches down to the Ludicolo, I destroy that thing with a close combat, which is really great because now one of two threats is out of the way, and I'm going to be able to bring in my Lickalicky on this Dragonair. Even after plus one, Dragonair already doesn't have the best physical attack around, so I know this Outrage really shouldn't be doing entirely too much damage to me, and I really did not want to risk the fact of him going for a second Dragon Dance, predicting me to go for the Wish. So I just make this safe offensive play, which is the Dragon Tail, to get this big threat out of here as I Dragon Tail him out into the Armaldo. Now, I thought that he would just get up his Stealth Rocks, right? So what I'm going to do is just go for my Wish, scout it to see what he wants to do. But it turns out that Armaldo actually gets Swift Swim, which I did not realize until after this battle. So when I saw Sword Dance, I was thinking, what? What are you doing? That's just weird. And I'm going to go for the Protect just to be able to get my Wish Recovery as he goes for the Stone Edge. And really, the least helpful thing to me on my team at this point is my Masquerade. I mean, in hindsight, maybe I could have fought it off my Red Partos, but... I just thought Masquerade really wasn't going to be too helpful to me considering that he does still have Substrika and Bear Tick which can destroy Masquerade. So I'm going to bring in my Samurai, sub up thinking that maybe he would want to switch out but no he's just going to stay in, make the offensive and better play and go for the Stone Edge, breaking my Substitute and I know at this point that he more than likely is just going to stay in until eventually he either takes me out or I take him out and I'm just going to take this opportunity to go for the Surf 
and I need to be able to keep my Samurai at as much HP as possible if I want to be able to take one hit from that uh, bear tank and be able to take it out with a Surf. So as he brings in the Sep Striker, I'm going to switch right into my Licky Licky because honestly, Sep Striker can do nothing to Licky Licky, like even if he did have the specs. It, Thunderbolt would still not be doing enough damage to the point where I would be scared of Sep Striker. And I take him up with the Dragon Tail as he brings in the Bear Tick. I really have nothing I can switch into on this Bear Tick, so I have no choice but to leave my Licky Licky as Death Fodder, which Licky Licky was definitely important in this battle and definitely the MVP easy. So as he takes me out, I can get a free switch into my Primate. Uh, properly called Luffy because Monkey D. Luffy, Primate is a monkey pig thing, so I thought it was appropriate. And with Dragonair being his last, I know a close combat will be able to take him out, if not then a second close combat will, and he does switch that in for fodder. And I knew because he did that that he wanted to get the defense drop on me because I know that Bear Tick does learn Aqua Jet. So what I'm going to do is actually switch into my Samurai predicting the Aqua Jet, which he does go for, and he crits me above all. But it really doesn't matter because at this point, I'm pretty positive as long as he doesn't crit me, I can take any one hit. And at the amount of HP that my Primate is at, I should be able to take an Aqua Jet if it needs to come down to that. But I easily get destroyed by the uh, Stone Edge, and I take him out with the Surf, and that's going to be the 2-0 victory in my favor. So yeah, in the end, that was definitely a fun battle using a really fun team. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and that one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is that, for those of you who don't know, on Pokemon Showdown, they added something that is a DPP OU with this 4, which is 4th Gen OU. Now, this, I bring this up, sorry, because... I actually kind of want to start posting some of those uh, Fortune OU battles, and yes, I know this is my channel, I upload what I want, yada yada yada, but I do like to uh, ask you guys what you think of new stuff that I want to upload, so if you could please leave a comment down below saying that you would like to see some Fortune OU battles from Showdown, or if you wouldn't want to see some Fortune battles from OU, and yeah, just leave some down below, and I'll take your thoughts into consideration, but with that guys, I'm just rambling, and enjoy the rest of your night, enjoy the rest of your day, if you did enjoy the battle, as I said, make sure to leave a like, I'll leave a comment about what I asked, and subscribe for some more content if this is the first video you are stumbling across, and with that, I am out of here, later everybody.